Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new video. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. In today's video, we're going to be discussing a much debated topic in the community, and that is GTA 6 story mode, what it's going to look like, and how it is going to compare to what we have right now in GTA 5. Now GTA 5 has quite possibly one of the most iconic storylines of any video game ever released. I am personally playing through the storyline myself right now for a fifth time, and a lot of people are wondering if Rockstar is even going to be including a story mode inside GTA 6 based on all of the rumors we have heard so far about the game possibly being online only. So that is exactly what we're going to be discussing today, and we got a ton of really awesome information to cover, so we're going to be getting into that in just a quick minute here. But first off, if you haven't already, be sure to drop a like rating on this video to share your support, as well as subscribe down below for more DIY videos just like this. But first off, here is today's shout out of the day, and Rafat went to the actual video. So today's shout out of the day goes to a really awesome YouTube channel known as Anka Rose. Now she uploads some really great videos to her channel that involve the ideas of self-help, self-love, confidence, law of attraction slash manifestation, starting a business, starting a podcast, and also being your best self. She wants to use her channel to be the voice for those who need help and tips towards overcoming self-hatred and achieving a happier and healthier life. Click the first link in the description down below to subscribe to her channel today for some really awesome, helpful, and insightful videos. But with that being said, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. So one of the first things that everyone remembers that got GTA 5 when it first came out back in 2013 is playing the story mode of the game and then anxiously waiting for GTA 5 Online to be released about two months later. During those first two months with story mode, a lot of people played it from beginning to end, multiple people played it a number of times including myself, and overall the story mode for GTA 5, especially for 2013, was very solid and the story, in my opinion, was very well done. Now before GTA 5 Online and Rockstar's other online products, Rockstar specialized in single player games only and that is how they got their claim to fame. With GTA 5, the tide definitely shifted and they became slowly but surely into an online game company and at this point many people are wondering based on what we have been hearing and seeing so far if GTA 6 is even going to have a single player campaign. Now based on information that we have heard from several insider sources and on the GTA forums, it looks like that Rockstar is in fact making a story mode and single player campaign for GTA 6, however it is going to have a number of limitations compared to GTA 5 and Rockstar's newer game Red Dead Redemption 2. Quite possibly the biggest limitation that we have been hearing about so far is the overall storyline is going to be a bit shorter than we have seen so far with GTA 5 and significantly shorter than what we have seen with Red Dead Redemption 2. Now I personally think the storyline of GTA 5 was the perfect size. I found the storyline of Red Dead Redemption 2 to be a little bit drawn out and a little bit too long for my liking, but overall it seems like that Rockstar is going to be keeping things a little bit shorter, which isn't necessarily bad, especially since they're able to focus more on the story and not having to drag it out for so long. Now while the story itself is going to be shorter, I do believe that the quality is going to be the same as Rockstar has been doing for many years now. They have their own formula for their single player games and they have really nailed it out which is great to see. One of the big features that is likely going to be removed from this GTA 6 version of single player is the three character system that we saw inside GTA 5. The three character system featuring Michael, Trevor, and Franklin was in my opinion the differentiating feature of story mode in the game and it honestly made it so fun and intuitive to play, but unfortunately since Rockstar is going to be putting a lot of more time into development of GTA Online for GTA 6, the three character system is likely not going to be making a return and they're going to be going back to the classic way they did games before GTA 5 such as GTA 4 and even Red Dead Redemption 2. 
Now, one feature, if you will, that will be changing inside the GTA 6 single player campaign, according to numerous sources, is going to be a female protagonist for the very first time. Now, this in itself is pretty cool because the GTA series never really had that many females that you were able to interact with and especially play. I think it's definitely going to make it a very interesting story and also to kind of switch things up a little bit. And I honestly think that is a pretty good change and also something that I am personally looking forward to playing. Now, after seeing the disastrous launch of Cyberpunk, which most people can agree is pretty much a disaster up until this day, Rockstar is likely going to be taking a lot more time with the single player campaign of GTA 6, making sure everything is QA tested properly, making sure that the game looks good, and overall making sure the bugs and glitches are kept to a minimum. Rockstar Games is known for the high quality content they do release, and I do believe that the Cyberpunk drama and everything that follows followed alongside it really gave the industry a good heads up about what could happen if they do not QA test their games and make sure they are up to quality standards. So I do believe Rockstar is going to continue their tradition of producing high quality single player games and GTA 6 is going to have its own storyline likely in Miami, Florida, Vice City where it is probably going to be taking place. It is likely going to feature a female protagonist, however the story is likely going to be a little bit shorter than what we're used to. Now Rockstar always has something new and up their sleeve when it comes to their games, so there is likely going to be a number of surprises that Rockstar is going to reveal as we get closer to the GTA 6 announcement, which hopefully should be happening later this year. But I definitely want to hear from you guys in the comment section down below. Let me know your top wishlist items for the single player campaign of GTA 6. Let me know what you want to see, let me know what you don't want to see. Any and all thoughts you have about this and more, let me know in those comments down below because I really want to hear from you guys. But either way, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video. If you enjoyed watching this video, let me know by dropping a like rating, as well as subscribe down below if you haven't already with those notifications on so you're always notified whenever I upload a brand new video. Thank you again for tuning in today, I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you tomorrow with another video just like this. But until then, have an awesome day and I'll be sure to talk to you guys then.